previously, we discussed about a couple of 21st century low-budget creature features. However, Hydrga wanted more monsters. As a consequence, he wasted almost 100 plus hours of his life. He loved every last second of it, so get ready for some crazy beasts. Dragon Wars might be a rule breaker since the movie was supported by a big company, but all of the dragons look like shark to this level bad budget. Dragon Wars might also break another rule about mythical creatures or creatures already imagined by other cultures. The movie has a religious idea about reincarnation and prophecy, however, it was in medieval Korea and Los Angeles. Anyway, it has a lot of cool little details that boost this film into an 11 out of 10. Can't even talk bad about the movie. It's almost a work of art compared to the rest. I personally asked Hydrega about amphibian or mammalian monster movies. Whilst we had a frog movie from the 1970s, we have a 21st century saber-tooth monster movie. It gets a 5 out of 10 just like Land Shark. The monster is the only thing making it good but it clearly wants to compete with Jurassic Park and failed spectacularly. Hydrega saw two failures who will never make it to the mythology of these movies, Alien Incursion and Dragon Fury. They suck. Zero out of ten. Whilst Hydrega is planning on watching other alien-related monster movies, we do have more dinosaurs and dragons. We have Wyvern and Hydra, European dragon beasts who terrorize a small town in Alaska, and a distant island in the middle of the Mediterranean. Both get a 6 out of 10. The monsters are cool, and plot is decent. Maybe a sequel can make or break them. We have the Jurassic Games, another mockbuster or movie that wants a slice in the blockbuster pie. However, it morphed the prehistoric beasts with a dead game and a simulation. Ready Player One, but the players are disgusting criminals who are forced against their will to play questionable games about surviving prehistoric monsters. It gets a good 9 out of 10. Next up is the first movie where Hydrega snoozed. Killer Bee Invasion is about an island of genetically engineered bees and dogs who terrorize some scientists and mercenaries. It gets another 5 out of 10. There is another crossover movie, Boa vs. Python. A captive boa named Betty is deployed into a water plant to fight a python created by a rich hunter and his friends so they can hunt it, kinda like in Hydra but here at least they were expecting to shoot giant snakes. Hydrega also has zero knowledge of boa or python respectively. The interesting lore gives it a 7 out of 10. If you got the Sharktopus trilogy was an ADHD wild ride, look at the Mega Shark quadrilogy, Mega Shark as well as Sharknado and Two-Headed Shark are some of the craziest shark-related movies ever made, and it was done by a literal asylum, from Irish scientists turned monster hunters to an interracial couple in Australia, African criminal upstarts, and communist cyborgs. These four movies are intense. Silly CGI, as well as reused clips and really cheesy scenes, this gets a 10. Pure 10. It is so bad, it is good. Currently, there are more movies that Hydrago will watch, like more mythical creature movies and more robots. Maybe, just maybe, there will be a good alien movie to put in this insane mythology. Thanks for watching this video.